hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you how to get these nails right here during quarantine if you're just sitting in the house bored and you don't like sitting in the house with your nails not done and just keep on watching and i'll show you guys how to do this she's on fire she got me on fire we on fire i heard somebody said the roof on fire call 911 put your phone down we don't call 911 it's on fire she's on fire i heard somebody said the roof on fire call 911 put your phone down we don't call 911 it's on fire hey y'all this is the mccart nail extension poly gel kit it comes with a led lamp it comes with the little charger to it it comes with three poly gels. It comes with the white, the natural pink, and the clear one. It has a nail file in it. And it also comes with the two-sided spatula and poly gel brush. Um, I got this from one of my good friends, Dre, for Christmas. Shout out to Dre if you're watching this video. Thank you so much for my gel kit because he knew I wanted it and I put it on my Christmas list. And it also comes with a base coat. It comes with the top gel. It also comes with paper nail forms. I never use those because I'm not like an expert at this. So I haven't used those yet. And it also comes with six glitters. I've used one of the glitters before and I actually like them. They work really well. They're very easy to use and they're not like, they don't get all over the place unless you're a messy person. And yeah, I really like this. Um, nail extension kit is going to be linked down in the description box if you guys want to order it or anything this is not a sponsored video i just really love this technique during the quarantine and i'm also going to use some alcohol as a slip solution these crystals are from the beauty supply store as well as this wax pen everything i'm using in this video is going to be down in the description box for you guys and yeah so that's basically all the tools i've used in this video Oh, and I used a buffer to buff my nails out as well. So, yeah. And an acrylic brush to help me, like, clean off the excess poly gel. But you'll see that later in this video. natural pink poly gel that I'm going to be using today this one is the clear one white right here and then I'm also going to show you the white one as well the white one is my least favorite because it's kind of a thick consistency versus the other two so you would need more slip solution and alcohol using the white one but I really love white nails so I mean I have to suffer through it but I'll show you guys how to do the white I use the white one in another video. I'm also showing you the plastic nail forms. These are very easy to use, and this whole little kit is like a great invention because who has time to be sitting at the nail salon all the time 24-7? But yeah, if you've if you're used to press-ons this is going to be an easy process for you to measure them all you have to do is sit it on your nail and measure it i personally like them bigger a little bigger than my nail instead of too small for my nail if it's too small then it's going to be easier for it to pop off your finger so the bigger the better well not too big but if it's if you're struggling measuring and if it's a little too small versus a little bit too big I will go with the bigger one instead of the small one if that makes sense and I already prepped my nails for my application but for the sake of this video I'm gonna file my nails then I'm gonna go in with a rag and some alcohol to just clean off all the excess dust off of my fingers and then I'm going to go in with my base gel. And then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds.
start off with my index finger. Here is the um, natural pink poly gel. I'm just gonna use that on my spatula and I'm gonna spread it on the plastic nail form. And you're basically just wanna spread it around. You wanted to make it thicker than thin because if it's too thin, it's gonna make your nails easier to break. And it's also already formed into a nail, so all you have to do is apply a good amount and um, just place it on your finger. After you spread it and all of that you're just gonna place it on your finger and then just press it in and all of the ex excess poly gel on the bottom towards your cuticle you're gonna use the acrylic brush with some alcohol to just wipe that off so it could look more professional Actually, I've recorded this video like I want to say a week or two ago and the base gel before you apply the poly gel makes a huge difference and you filing your nail before too so for my right hand I didn't prep it and then I only have two nails currently still on my finger but on the left hand all five of my nails are still there so that's gonna make a huge difference. So after you do the poly gel, you're gonna cure that for 30 seconds, and then you're just gonna wiggle the nail form off, and then it's just gonna pop off, and then you have your nail. My pinky had a little air bubble in it, so I had to go back and redo it. But for my ring finger, it came out really good, and that's how it should look after you cure it for 30 seconds. I usually do 30 seconds on the front end under my nail as well because it will be kind of still gooey if you don't do both so here is after I did my all my fingers and now I'm just gonna go in and file all of those <laughs> in with my nail drill I got this from Amazon wait I think I got this from Amazon yeah Amazon so I'm gonna link that down in the description box as well too I'm just gonna file this one finger down since I had to add extra on it to like fix certain stuff that I messed up on like it was another air bubble on that nail so I had to add some on top so now I'm just drilling it down so it could be more smooth and to get that big lump that's in the middle of my finger off and get it to more to a more flat and natural look. After I file and all that good stuff, I'm gonna wipe my fingers off with alcohol. Then I'm gonna go in with the top gel, top coat gel, and then I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds. with the 
maximum speed glue from KISS to apply my crystals. I'm going to use my wax pen to get the glue and put the crystals on as well. I love these crystals. I believe they weren't, they weren't more than like $5 from the beauty supply store. And they just give it a very much bougie on the budget look. Even though it's something simple, it's not too much. After that, I'm going to put some more top coat on top of the crystals so they don't come off as easy. This is like a trick that I seen somebody on YouTube do. I think her name is Long Nails Pretty Face, something like that. I'm going to link her channel down in the description box. And then this is my other hand after I put the poly gel on. I'm just going to go. I think I filed them already. Oh, no. I'm going to go in and file my nails. And then I'm just going to do the routine all over again. filing I feel like the more you file the better your nails will look and the more natural it will look um, but I feel like this process is very easy so if you're not an acrylic type of person this kit is definitely for you I'm gonna go in with my cuticle oil and just apply that to all of my cuticles on both hands and then I'm just gonna rub that in and I'm basically done with everything and if you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section. And um, I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos. And this is the finished look right here. I really love these nails. I feel like I'm never going to go back to the nail salon because clearly we're never going to go outside again. But yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe like comment and subscribe and i will definitely see you guys in my next one and don't forget to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button to get upload updated every time i post a new video thank you guys bye